Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my RL Craft gameplay. This is going to be my third recording session. Uh, in the last one, we ended it by getting back to our original home, even after we decided to abandon it, but uh, I do think we're going to play out from here. So, first things first, I want to get a lot done today, so we're going to try to find some flint. Um, oh wow, we actually got a piece of flint right off the bat. Let's go ahead and jump back in here. Uh, we do need sticks, so let's go ahead and try to get some sticks. I just want stick drops, please. There's one, two. There's three and there's four. Okay, so now I can make a flint knife. Aha. I forgot. You need to smash the flint. So to do that, we need some stone. Okay. Now we can make a flint knife. We're actually going to make two of them. And we're going to use that to get some plant fiber from the grass. Alright, so there's enough of that stuff. Um, let's just check out this little building real quick. Shouldn't be too harmful to check it out. Give it a quick look, see if there's anything in here that I can use. That looks like somewhere I don't want to be yet. Yeah, so we're just gonna not for now. Um, hmm. Okay, we do need to drink some water. Okay, let's head back over to the house and see what we can do now. Um, we should actually now with... the plant string that we could make. Yes, we can make a flint hatchet. Now we can cut down a tree or two. Uh, we do have wood at home, but... That doesn't mean I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more... The game did just freeze on me. Okay, so we're actually going to give the game a quick little reset. Um, it is lagging quite bad at the moment. Alright, and let's get right back to it. Now that the game's back up, it is a little bit laggy right off the start as per usual. But that should smooth itself out. It's already feeling a little bit smoother on my end. I don't know how it looks in the recording. But it definitely feels smoother on my end. Um, yeah, so hopefully things stay going well. 
Okay, 14, that should be about enough. Is this good enough to do it? Yes, it is. Okay, wow. So, I found that trick out, actually, from, uh... Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zilama. I was watching him play through on his series, and, uh... I found out that trick to turn wood into planks. So, we're gonna go ahead and do some more of that right here. Um... I don't know why I came back across the water when I'm going to do it out over here, but... So, something that you can do as well, which I noticed Zalama does, did not do... Oh, apparently you can't do this. Well, that was a huge waste. Regardless. Wait, where are my other birchwood planks that I made? Regardless, let's head back on into the house. Okay. Now, we're back to square one where we can make wood tools. So let's go ahead and make two wooden pickaxes. And we're actually going to, as soon as possible, go and start getting... Um, we're going to go and start getting some stone. Uh, because I very desperately want to have some. I'd also like to bring a crafting bench with me. So let's just make one real quick here. Um, just in case I do end up needing to craft something. I should bring some sticks with me too. Again, just in case I end up needing to craft something. Uh, but for the time being... Hmm, do I have any vanilla torches? I should get some vanilla torches if I'm going to go into a cave. I'm obviously not going to go very deep into a cave system, if even at all, but I would still like to, at the very least, have some uh, vanilla torches to take with me. I think 16 ought to be good enough. Okay. There's another two. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sleep, and then we're going to head straight on over to a cave to go and start. Wow, that was kind of risky. Are you violent? Oh, you're just kind of a thing that exists. What happened here? Oh, wait, that's not my house. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and sleep. And then once we wake up in the morning, we're going to go ahead and head on over to... Uh, I know there's a cave out this way. That we started to explore a little tiny bit. But we didn't really go too deep into it, so we're going to go ahead and... Check it out, see if there's some more stuff inside of it. Oh, there is a crafting bench here already, too. Wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and take a look down here. It looks like it just kind of dead ends itself, which actually could be nice. Uh, we are going to have to kill this Jengu. God, please don't hit me in the head too much. Or the body, really, like... Okay, so let's, uh, let's time-lapse to mine out a bunch of this, uh, stone.
Okay, so that should be enough rock for now. Uh, we basically got 64 cobble. Uh, plus, you know, change. So, that's not a horrible haul. Obviously, you know, we can get more later. I don't really care about using this wool because it's just something that I found. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some stone tools. Five stone pickaxes. And we do know how to wield them, thank heavens. Uh, so we are going to kind of time lapse a little bit more here and just gather up some more stone, I think, um, to make other stone tools. I have no clue what this thing is. Brother, what are you doing just popping out of the fucking coal like that? Please tell me I can kill it in time. Oh my god. Brother. Why are you just coming out of the coal like that, dude? Come on, man. You can't be doing that to me, man. You just showed up. I did not know that stuff could just pop out of coal like that. Well, now I know. That should definitely be about good enough for uh, cobble for the time being. I believe we got enough to make two stacks 64. Yep. And some change. We also got some diorite. Uh, not really too happy with the diorite. Don't really care about it. Oh, we still have more rocks as well. There we go. Okay, so we have we did get quite a fair haul there. Um, okay, so next up is going to be, uh, we need more sticks. That's what we need, some more sticks. Okay, so in order to get sticks, let's go ahead and break down some, uh, some planks into sticks. That was all I could get out of that hatchet. Okay, uh, can I make... A stone hatchet? No. Okay, well, I do need a stone axe then, at least. I don't know what that sound was that I heard. Oh, an axe can do the same job. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, I think that's a good enough haul for today, and we can head on back. And sleep up for the night. I'm very scared to go into caves and things like that at the moment. <clears throat> However, I do need to get some levels. So let's go ahead and take a look at our levels here. In order to use iron stuff, I need to have level 8. So we need to work our way to level 8. We're at level 6 right now, 
I believe we do have enough to make a stone sword, which we should be able to wield. Right. What about the halberd, though? If I wanted to make a stone halberd. Because this, this seems to be the kind of weapon that you want. So I can do it with plant string and three sticks. Okay, so I can make three sticks there and then that for the pole and then stone halberd. I just need the pole and some cobble. Cool, where did my pole go? Pole and then cobble. There's a stone halby. Alright, so now we have a weapon. Now let's go ahead and make sure we store stuff up so that we don't lose it because we are going to go... Um, this now is going to be exclusively EXP farming, so we can wear better armors and things of the sort. What do I just see under here? A fish. It's a silex. Then drops rice, raw silex meat. Okay, cool. I'm drowning. Okay. I was like, what's attacking me now? But I was actually just drowning. Okay, so those aren't really going to be the way to level. I do think I want to try my luck on some jousts. Let's see how well the halberd can handle a joust. I don't really think it should struggle all that much with them. Oh, it doesn't struggle at all with them. Okay. And now we hear that dragon again. I'm not too sure that I want to mess with the dragon. Not with all this fresh stuff. Uh, let's see how these tree dinosaurs feel for fighting. Let's go check out their health and see what they're like to the halberd. Uh, let's drink some water first, though. Gotta stay hydrated. And you know what? We'll take a sip in real life, too. There we go. There's some water. Now on to trying to kill these things with a halberd. Let's see. What's their health like? 49. And this does how much? 9 damage? Oh, I don't feel good about this at all. Do they at least give good EXP? They do. But they don't even fight back. That's so sad. Aww. I don't feel good about this, but it's like free EXP. It's actually just free EXP. Oh. You know, you, you really can't feel good at... Oh, I'm hungry. Does eating raw or sour meat... It paralyzes me. Okay. So remind me that I need to cook that. The main goal is to be able to wear iron uh, armor. So that we're a little bit safer against the creatures. Um, we're obviously not going to be entirely safe. Is this another RSR? Well, this one has a lot of health. I'm sorry, buddy, but I really need the EXP. Same with you guys. I really need the XP. Does jumping still increase my damage in this? I think it does, right? I don't know, I saw Zalama jumping when he was killing things, but I don't know if it's actually doing anything in this mod pack. 
let's see. Mm, sounds like it was. It might be. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and head back. Uh, we are getting extremely hungry. Because God knows I always forget to bring actual food with me when I go out on these adventures. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some apples. With all that stone we got, we can make a furnace now. Hopefully, right? Furnaces are still the same recipe? Yes, they are. Got it. Okay. So that chest is still accessible. Barely. Oh no, it won't. I can't open it now because of the furnace. Well, I'm just going to have to deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some coal in to power this. And we're just going to time lapse the cooking process here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and level up our defense here. We can only do one level. Okay, so we're still one level off of wearing iron. But that is okay. We are one step closer to being able to wear it. Okay, so with this last piece finishing up here, we're going to go ahead and get all of this and we're going to store it in this chest here, which will be for foods. Um, let's go ahead and get... Oh, we do have a little bit more to cook. What the heck is that noise? Alright, so we're going to get that cooking while we find the rest of our food. Uh, I know, yeah, I have a whole bunch in here. Bread. Um, Rod and flesh, I don't really count as food. Okay, that should be about good enough. We can go ahead and put that in there. Um, we should probably cook the rest of this while we have the time, at least.
All right, now that's all taken care of, we got a fair bit of XP from cooking, so we're actually going to be able to level up our defense, I believe. Yep, there we go. And now we can throw on our iron leggings. Right? Yes, okay. I was worried for a second there that we might not be allowed to. Um, now, of course, the next thing to find is going to be an iron helmet, uh, because helmets are going to be extremely important. But that's a okay. Um, go ahead and take some stone pickaxes with us now. And I think the next goal, we're going to actually explore a cave a little bit. Um, that same cave that we've been digging out, I want to kind of look around in there a little bit. I uh, don't know exactly how far into it I'm going to end up going, but it's worth taking a look at. I just saw my halberd. So we shouldn't be in too big of a too big of a pickle at any given time down here. Um, however, a zombie could have yep. A zombie definitely has spawned here. Okay, so jumping definitely does still cause criticals, which is nice. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dig out this way. Wait, this is the way towards water. So we kind of we want to be digging inland. Okay. So let's go this way. Oh wow, we found iron already. Do not meet the requirements. Okay. Uh, can I get my mining level up at all? I can go up one level. Oof. Okay, so we should probably go and get that leveled a bit then. Um, back to the RSRs, I guess. I feel bad killing those things, dude. It, it doesn't make me feel good to kill RSRs. They don't even fight back. Like, you know what, let's, let's go look for something that's going to fight back. We need to put this new armor to the test.